welcome to BPS. Thank um, you very much. Last week, your contract was released with BPS. How do you feel? Yeah, I'm excited. It's been uh, it's been a good. I've been here a week now, so it was good to to get started last week. I joined them. You know, the, the team's already been training for a couple of weeks, so I got right in the in the mix of it, which was good, and uh, got up to speed as as quick as I can. Uh, and yeah, feel right into it now, and I'm enjoying it. Can you tell us a bit about your football journey up till now? Yeah. Uh, I'll try and keep it brief. Uh, I started in England professionally um, in the lower leagues and worked my way up to the, the Conference National where I spent two seasons uh, and then I came to Scandinavia at that point uh, which was always an interest of mine and I started in uh, in Sweden in the in the third tier division one in 2016 and then uh, got a call from TPS in Finland to come for the 2017 season and uh, yeah we got we had a really good year and got promoted and then I stayed with them again in 2018 so had a really good two years here in Finland with FC TPS. Uh, and then after that, I had a year back in the States and I, I, I just missed Scandinavia and kind of the, the opportunities that are here football wise. So um, I kind of committed to, to trying to come back. And uh, in 2020, I played with IK Sirius in Elsvenskan. And then the last two years, I was with uh, Dalkert FF uh, in Superettan. Uh, which was also a, a great experience and enjoyed it. But uh, now I find myself here and I'm happy to be back in Finland. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to the year ahead. You mentioned you're happy to be back in Finland. Tell us a bit about how it feels to be back. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's actually, it's been a while, but uh, like I said, I had such a good experience here. I also met my wife here. Um, so I, I was joking with some of the guys that I'm half finished myself now. So <laughs> uh, it, it feels like home in a way. Uh, and uh, especially I had a really good experience in, in Bakos Liga and I'm looking forward to, to playing in the league again. Um, unfortunately, we got relegated with TPS that year, so I want another go at it and I'm excited for it. And uh, it's, it's really good competition. I like the way the, the clubs are structured and everything is well organized. So yeah, it feels good and I'm, I'm excited for, again, yeah, for the year ahead. So uh, you've been in Barca for a week now. Uh, how has Barca treated you? Yeah, there, you know, outside of the, the trainings, there hasn't been that much time to go and explore the city. Uh, but uh, I've taken a walk into the city centre a couple of times and it does look quite nice. Um, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing more by the, by the water and kind of some of the, you know, the, the parks and stuff like that. I know that we're well situated on the coast. Mm -hmm. um, right now is maybe not the best time to see that, but I'm looking forward to when it warms up. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I think the city is really nice. It's, everything is very, very close. and. Um, the people are, are friendly, so it's, it's been a good impression so far. And let's talk a bit about the team. How has the team welcomed you? Yeah, they've, they've welcomed me well. Um, again, I, uh, I joined them right in the middle of their, you know, they were, I think that was their third week of preseason. Yeah. Um, so the, the first morning session, I can understand why they weren't so talkative. You know, <laughs> I realize now because the, the days are, are quite long and the sessions are tiring. So, uh, but no, we, we've had our chances to, to have conversations with all the, all the different players and uh, getting to know them and I, I think I got everybody's names by now which is wow, always, that's the first, that's always the first task yeah when you, you play for many clubs you get good at that so uh, I think I've got that down pack now and uh, now it's just, just about getting to know each other on the field and and also off the field and just building those relationships and what are your overall expectations for the season 2023 I'm excited I want to have a, a good year uh, last year was a, was a challenging season with my former club so I, I definitely want to come and, and respond from that uh, personally and uh, and I know VPS also was very close to some some big success last year with almost qualifying for the Euro Europa Conference League uh, so I, I hope that um, it seems like the club wants to build off of that and 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 kind of keep that momentum going so um, I want to add to that and contribute to that however I can and, uh, and yeah I'm, I'm very excited and I also heard you have a bit of an unusual uh, number for a goalie, a, yeah. game, a game number, like player number. Um, what, why did you choose number 15? What happened? Yeah, well, <laughs> normally I wear number one. Uh, yeah. Tepo already had it, so mm -hmm. uh, he was telling me what was available. And actually, uh, my lucky number is 50, 5 oh. zero. So I said that to Sami, I said 50. And maybe <laughs> it was the language barrier, he understood 15. So he, I started getting 15 and I was thinking maybe that was just temporary because he, he said he liked you know 50, but I think he understood 15. And then when I looked at it, I kind of liked the look of it. it. Looks good. So when I told him actually he got it wrong, <laughs> we had a laugh and he's like, okay, we can change it. I go, actually, I think, I think leave it. I like the look of it, one and, and five. It kind of describes <laughs> a little bit the way I like to play, you know, as a sweeper keeper. So um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna roll with it. You're gonna roll with number 15? Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. sounds good. Thank you for the interview. Thank you very much.